The Ohio Patriot Guard. Just give them a warm welcome. everybody for being here today and to all veterans happy veterans day thank you for your service on june 26 1969 i left my home at 6 a.m and at 6 a.m the next set four or six four a.m the next morning i finally got to sleep welcome to the u.s navy it never occurred to me that someday i would be a veteran it is a great feeling to be honored and remembered with all veterans for the sacrifices made in our younger years. It is good to work for a company that honors veterans. I want to thank John Hussey for his idea to have a veterans memorial here at Trenton. I thank the company for the financial resources. And when we went over budget, thanks to the local UAW 23A union for stepping in to help out. And thank you, Craig Ag. Where are you? Oh, here. All right, there's Craig. <laughs> Craig uh, helped a lot with the design and choosing the company that made the monument. And I want to thank Karen Noonan for your help with the contractors. And thanks to Mike Burke and his Viox crew for all the help that you did in making this look nice. And I want to thank the Veterans Employee Affinity Group for help planning this occasion. Right now, I'd like to recognize our most senior veteran here at the brewery, George Gabber. George, where are you? George works for Burns Cannon for All Service. Thanks, George. <laughs> now, uh, we'd like to do our call to callers. Call to callers will be the uh, Butler uh, Combined Butler County Honor Guard and the Hamilton County Sheriff's Pipe and Drum Corps.
I'd like to introduce Mrs. Christine Bennett, who will be singing our national anthem. have an incredible talent to take a simple idea and turn it into something wonderful like you're going to see here today and they deserve all the credit. You will see that uh, as Chuck acknowledged this monument represents our veterans and the sacrifices that they've made for all of us and we realize that the monument is going to mean different, pe different things to different people and that's what makes it so special. But what we hope for is that as each and every one of us enters the brewery every day, it gives us the opportunity to reflect on those sacrifices of those who served, those who continue to serve, and those we've lost, because that's something that we just can't appreciate enough. Veterans Day is our opportunity to recognize the contributions of those who've sacrificed to defend our freedom. Every man and woman who served in the United States Armed Services has served with honor and courage and valor. And I think sometimes it's very easy for us to take that freedom for granted. So when we walk in the brewery in the morning, let's look at this monument and let's remember how they served us and let's remind ourselves not to take that freedom for granted and to appreciate the gifts that they've given us. We're very fortunate here in the Trenton Brewery that almost 20% of our workforce are veterans. And because they're veterans, they had an opportunity to act as leaders. They had the opportunity to see the leadership of their peers and to see the leadership of their commanding officers. And it's our great gift that they choose to work here every day and bring that leadership to the brewery and to their teams. So we thank all of you veterans for the contributions that you make to Miller Coors, the contributions that you make to the Trenton Brewery, and undoubtedly the positive contributions that you make to the communities where you live. 
So with that, I get to give some special thank yous. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Chuck Osborne and Craig Agee. They are the masterminds of this great event. Without their diligence and work, none of this would have happened. And you'll see that uh, they were the chief designers of the monument. And the things that I've spoken about this morning, about honor, about courage, about valor, you'll see what a wonderful job they did of incorporating those attributes into the monument along with the five branches of U.S. military service. <laughs> I also want to recognize the Veterans Planning Committee. Uh, if you could, when I call your name, if you could please raise your hand so people can see who's helped to support this event. Without their tireless efforts, none of this would have happened. Kim Thompson, Craig Agee, Chuck Osborne, Ferris Camarisi, Jeff Potts, Jack Anzalone, Tammy Spence, Shane Owens, Ahmad Mutali, Jamal Rogers, Lashonda Woods Ali, Todd Washing, Karen Noonan, Benita James, Leah Spears, Jeff Lentz, Deidre Flanoy, Esty Wolf, and John Hollop. Thank you to all of you for the terrific work you've done. And last but not least, I certainly want to recognize the generous contribution of our own UAW Local 2308. As Chuck mentioned, uh, without their help, we wouldn't have been able to do everything that we've done here this morning. So now on to the most important part. We will unveil the monument for everyone to see. understand the terrific work that I've been speaking about now. So in closing, I think we can all appreciate the fantastic addition we've made today to the Trenton landscape. You can certainly see the work that, that the team has done to incorporate honor and courage and valor into our Veterans Memorial. And every day we need to honor those who have served. And I believe the best way that we can do that is if each and every one of us can bring honor and courage and valor in the way we do our work, in the way we live our lives, and in the way we serve our communities. What better way for us to show all due respect and pay homage to the service of our veterans. With that, it is my great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker this morning, Neil Stallreyer. U.S. Navy Deputy Command Master Chief in the Atlantic Submarine Reserve Force. Neil enlisted in the United States Navy in Cincinnati in 1985 and has held various positions within the military throughout the years. While serving our country, his awards, awards include the Army Achievement Medal, Armed Forces Reserve Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Navy Achievement Medal, Naval Reserve Meritorious Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, and the National Defense Service Medal. So please join me in giving a warm welcome to Senior Chief Stolreyer. Good morning, everybody. Good morning all of you and thank you for the honor of spending a few minutes with you on this occasion. Dedication of this beautiful Veterans Memorial here at Miller Corps Brewery. It's phenomenal. It's a rare organization who would spend the time and effort to fund this memorial in, in these ec economic times and as a representative of all the veterans today I wish to thank Miller Corps for doing so. I would also like to thank the many outstanding veteran organizations represented here today 
I know there are many people involved in the planning and setup for this ceremony. We all know these things don't happen on their own accord. I'd also like to specifically thank Master Chief Ferris Camarisi for inviting me to speak here today and Kim Thompson for helping me coordinate uh, this and coordinating the whole ceremony. On this day, our nation remembers the moment when the guns of World War I went silent. We recognize the service and sacrifice of our nation's veterans. From Valley Forge to Vietnam, from Kuwait to Kandahar, from Berlin to Baghdad, our veterans have borne the cost of America's wars, and they have stood watch over America's peace. We take this moment to tell all veterans everywhere that the American people are grateful to all veterans and to all who have fought for our freedom. This Veterans Memorial honors not only those who passed by it, but also honors our fallen comrades, as well as those who are POWs and MIAs. The nation owes a great debt to its veterans, whose service to the nation spans every decade, every year, every day of our country's existence. Through untold courage and sacrifice, America's veterans have secured the liberty which the Founding Fathers sought to establish 235 years ago. Whenever and wherever the nation is called, in times of darkness and danger, as well as times of peace and prosperity, America's veterans have been there. Veterans have proudly carried the torch of liberty for all to see. For those of us here today, most of us have served or know of someone who is a veteran. Please raise your hands if you have served in the following. Is there anyone who has served in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, or the Cold War? Please raise your hand. This memorial is for you. Thank you. Is there anyone who served in Operation Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, or Operation New Dawn? Please raise your hand. This memorial is for you. Thank you for your service. Finally, I'd like everyone to raise your hand. This memorial is for you. Even though you may never carry a weapon in battle or don the uniform of our military, you are on the front lines against an enemy who does not comprehend or respect any front line. Your weapon is your vigilance against an enemy who is always looking to exploit our vulnerabilities. Your uniform is our American flag. And your front line is wherever you are in your day-to-day -day lives. Our enemy comes at us in many ways and with many faces. They do not wear uniforms and do not fight for territory, but fight to destroy our way of lives. This beautiful memorial is then a memorial to all of us. When you see it, think of those who raced into harm's way because they believed they were doing the right thing for all of us. Think of those brave men and women who fight to maintain the freedom we enjoy today. When you look at this memorial, think of those who fight the fight against the terrorists and terrorism every day. And finally, think of yourselves. And thank God we live in the greatest country in the world. Thank you.
That concludes, that concludes the service. Thanks, everyone, for attending.